Let's now look at the Laplace distributions. Here's the shape. Note that it has quite a peak in the middle and tails off to the sides. It's symmetrical, just like the normal distribution, but rather having than having the smooth bell-shaped top, it has more of a pointed top. Nonetheless, this distribution may sometimes fit the data better than the normal distribution. The Laplace distributions are leptokurtic. That means that there is more area in the middle of the distribution than there is in the normal distribution. They also have heavy tails, meaning again that there is more area in the tails of the distribution than in the normal distribution. So how can that be that they have more area in the middle and in the tails? Because in between, in the mid-ranges, outside of the center of the distribution and inside the tails, there's less area in the Laplace distributions than there is in the normal distributions. The parameters of the Laplace distributions are theta and phi. There is a mathematical function that have these two parameters in it that form the Laplace distributions and you could readily find that if you're so interested and mathematically curious, as I hope you are. Another name for the Laplace distributions are the double exponential distributions. So if you ever hear or read about a double exponential, that's the same, same distribution. The reason that it's often called a double exponential is because if you were to take and draw a dotted line right down the middle of the distribution and then fold one part over the other, you would have an exponential distribution. So it's as though we've taken an exponential distribution and doubled it. The mean is theta and the standard deviation of the Laplace distributions is the square root of 2 times phi squared. So if you know theta and phi and if you have the mathematical function for the distribution you can plot out the distribution, and you also can use these two simple formulas to calculate the mean and standard deviation. Here's a picture comparing the Laplace and normal distributions. The Laplace is in red. I've created these distributions so they both have a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. If you look within about half a standard deviation of the mean, you'll see that the Laplace distribution has significantly more area in it than the normal distribution. If you also look outside of, say, about two and a half standard deviations from the mean, remember that the mean is 50, standard deviation is 10, so two and a half would be about 25 on the lower end and about 75 on the upper end. You'll see that the Laplace distributions has more area than the normal distribution. The normal distribution has more area between about a half a standard deviation and two and a half standard deviations. Taken in combination, the normal distribution, the logistic distribution, and the Laplace distributions can actually provide us three symmetrical distributions, one of which will probably fit our symmetrical data better than the others. But we can't automatically say it's going to be the normal distribution that fits better. That's going to depend upon the frequency of individuals in the middle of our distribution and in the tails of our distributions.